Hey Gate Crashers and welcome to our first actual like cooking recipe video. I'm very excited. This is kicking off Anime August and I'm wearing my Sashimaru shirt uh, for representation. Uh, but we are going to be making um, recipes for the rest of the month of August. We're going to be making um, food recipes and drink recipes based on some anime movies, TV shows, um, and kind of recreating them or putting a twist on them. So if that's something that you're interested in, we're actually going to be doing a little recipe today from the acclaimed movie Your Name. So if you're interested, stick around. So what we're making today is actually from the movie Your Name, directed by Makoto Shinkai. Uh, it was released in Japan in 2016, came out in the US dubbed, uh, I believe, I believe it was dubbed. Um, I watched it dubbed, but I'm not sure if that's when the actual dub was released. Anyways, 2017 is when it came out in the US. And it is really, really good, fantastic. If you want a good romance movie, definitely go watch it. Uh, I cried like a baby. Um, it's really good. Go watch it. Go check it out. Thanks to shout out to my brother Gunner for uh, making me watch it and putting me through that hell of uh, crying at the end. So thank you for that. But we're making the croquette egg sandwich. So what we're going to be doing is making a traditional Japanese style croquette and then combining it with an egg salad sandwich. Uh, the video, uh, the movie, makes it look so we're gonna try that out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and boil our eggs for the egg salad. So we've gotta fill up some water, set it to boil, and throw in our eggs. I'm probably gonna cut the recipe. You can find the recipe on our website. I'm probably gonna cut the recipe in half because I don't need that many croquettes. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Um, but first, we're gonna, we're gonna fix the eggs up. All right, so I've got my water. I'm gonna put it on the stove. Add a little bit of salt in there and then let that sit and start boiling um, so we can put our eggs in there. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and get our potatoes and get those ready. So let's grab handy dandy cutting board and our russet potatoes. So you want to use russet potatoes in this recipe because they are the most fluffy and starchy type of uh, potato that's going to do well with our croquette. So make sure it is russet potatoes. I'm only going to do about three. Let's do about three big ones. That should be enough to make a few croquettes. Uh, just in case, let's add a little tiny one. So I got about three big ones and I added a tiny one. So we've got about four potatoes. So I'm going to wash those off, peel them, and then we'll come back. All right, so I've got the potatoes, um, you know, washed and peeled. I went ahead and put about four eggs in the boil. Next, what we're gonna do with the potatoes so we can go ahead and get those started, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kind of like chop these and kind of quarter them. You don't wanna put the potato in there as a whole because it's gonna take a lot longer to, you know, cook through. So we wanna kind of cut them. So I'm gonna just cut down the middle, nice like that, cut in half. And then we're just going to cut that in half and one more time. So you've got about these little little chunks, okay? So we're gonna do that to all of these potatoes. While we're doing this, um, just a few things to talk about the movie. Um, if you have never seen this movie, highly recommend it. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did, uh, and it really got to me. It was. The art animation style, for one, is beautiful. It's fantastic to look at. And the story, I was not expecting the story to take the turn that it did. There's a little kind of twist, um, so to speak. So the movie itself, romance story, but it is somewhat of a, or not somewhat, it is, um, it is a body switching story. Um, it's really funny. I had a good time watching it, but then the romance and the emotions hit. And when that hit, let me tell you, buddy, I was not ready. I was not prepared. Um, I was sitting there sobbing at the end. Um, was, was not a good time. I mean, it was, but 
the crying part was not a good time. So it's it's a good movie. I would definitely highly recommend checking it out. Um, I'll have to I'll link down below in the description where you can find it and where you can watch it. I believe maybe Funimation might have it or Crunchyroll, but Chef's Kiss really good. So we've got our potatoes cooked or not cooked. We've got our potatoes chopped. Next, what we're going to do is I've got a um, big pot right here. I'm going to fill it with water, put that on to boil, and then put the potatoes in there. While that's filling, I'm actually going to set a timer for these eggs. I meant to do that for him. All right, so we've got our pot of water. Go ahead and put this on the stove. Add a little bit of salt to that. And let that get boiling. And then once that gets boiled, we'll add our potatoes in there. So I'm gonna set these to the side. Next thing we're gonna focus on is we are going to start making our meat mixture. All right, so the next part, while we're waiting for the potato water to boil, to put the potatoes in, what we're gonna do next is focus on the um, beef mixture for the croquette. So a Japanese style croquette, or kuroke, um, usually consists basic, basic, you can add all kinds of other things in there. Um, but basically, um, you wanna use like ground beef, onion, put it together with the mash, like the potatoes, make a little ball, and then you roll it around in panko, and then you fry it. So that's what we are going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop my onion, and then we'll work on the beef. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we are going to cut this bad boy in half and go ahead and peel it. Now, I have never made a croquette, but I looked up some recipes. It's pretty much basic, but the gist and like the filling really reminds me of like shepherd's pie. If you've ever had like shepherd's pie, uh, my grandmother used to make, and my mom, used to make shepherd's pie um, out of like, we couldn't add lamb to it because we were poor. Uh, so we just added ground beef. Um, so it kind of reminds me, the uh, onions, the ground beef, the mashed potatoes really reminds me of like shepherd's pie. All right, so I'm just going to, just gonna cut these onions. You ever have like the cool ways of cutting onions and you see them all the time in cooking videos? I'm not like that. I never can get it to go correctly. So it ends up being like just a hodgepodge. And then I just end up chopping it like this. I try to do the creative ways. It never works. So we're just gonna chop it all up and dice it like this. And hopefully I won't cry on camera. Oh, there it comes. Oh no, oh no, the onion. Oh God, ugh, I need a bowl. And now let's chop the other one, shall we? Oh God, oh, it's hurting. All right, now we just have to dice it up a little bit finer. A little bit finer onion. This is when my chopping skills, which there are none, um, I just go for it, right? You just go for it. You just, you know you want them to be tiny, so you just chop over and over again. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna put all of this onion, we're gonna put this in a bowl. Now, if you're hacking the recipe, you could probably only use half an onion. I like onions in my stuff, so. Just said I went ahead and did the full one. But however you want to do this recipe, again, it'll be linked on our website um, in the description box below. Um, you can find the full recipe. But this right here, you know, we're just trying things out. Now I am going to use half of the meat. I'm not going to use the full meat because this is about a pound of lean, uh, all natural lean ground beef. It's about 93% lean, 7% fat. Um, so you kind of want to use a lean ground beef. So I'm only going to do half of that. And our alarm, a uh, little alarm went off, so I'm gonna take the eggs off. And the water is boiling for our potatoes, so we're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes. And get that a nice cover and let them boil. So I'm gonna get the uh, meat separated, get the eggs into some ice water, and then we'll be back. So upon further review, I decided, you know what? We're just gonna make both of these because it doesn't actually like look like that much. So we're just gonna use both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this and the onions to a 
pot right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil, blah, 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 vegetable oil, or as I like to call it, because I'm from the South, vegetable oil. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to that and get that heated up. All right, so I'm gonna let that start to heat up in the pan. We've got our eggs in a uh, ice bath. We've got our potatoes cooking. Um, and then we're gonna work on making our meat and onion mixture. So, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to break up the meat so it can cook through. And we just wanna cook it until it's brown. I'm gonna let that cook for a minute and then add the onions because the onions will cook quicker than the meat. Um, and then we will go from there. So we definitely wanna make sure that we're seasoning this mixture. So I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit. And then we want to add some cracked pepper. So you don't want a bland mixture. So make sure you're using those seasonings, people. And then we're just going to continue to mix this in and let it continue to brown. All right, so the meat and onions are cooked. The potatoes just need a little bit longer. So while the meat is draining, I'm letting it drain, let the grease drain. Uh, while that is draining, we're going to go ahead and work on our egg salad. Got our eggs right here. We're gonna go ahead and pour out that ice water. And then we are going to go ahead and crack and peel these. And look at that. Fully, perfectly <laughs> peeled egg. <laughs> Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if they look perfect because they're getting smushed up anyways. So what does that matter? It doesn't. So if your eggs look perfect, awesome. But if your eggs also look like hot garbage like mine, that is perfect too. It's valid. It's a valid egg. And like I say, it's all going to the same place. It's all getting eaten. So what does it matter what it looks like? All right, we've got our eggs in here. Eggs are ready to go. Move this out of the way. So next what we're gonna do is I'm just going to get a fork, just a regular fork. We are just going to start mushing these eggs. So you want them, so they kind of look like that, right? Kind of look all mushed, okay? So next what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add some Japanese mayonnaise. You can get this at like your, uh, I think Walmart has it in the international section, um, but you can also get it um, at your local Asian market. Um, so we're just gonna put a little bit in there. By a little, I mean a lot. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard. Add some crushed black pepper. A Little bit of table salt and then mix it together. If you need to add more seasoning to it, that is perfectly fine. Just kind of like season as needed. Um, you might need to add a little bit more mayonnaise to it. I just eyeball it. Um, I made like egg salad so much, so many times. So. I'm gonna taste a little bit of this. Perfect. Good ratio. Perfect, awesome, good, ready to go. So our potatoes are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drain them, put them in this is into this big bowl, and then we're going to mash them. All right, so I did actually see this tip on YouTube. I'm gonna do this again. Once you've drained most of the water, put the potatoes back. on the stove eye and let the rest of that water evaporate. So we're gonna let that sit, let that do that, and then we'll be back. All right, so I've got the potatoes in here. As you can see, the steam rising and giving me a nice like facial right now. Um, we're gonna take a masher and then we're just gonna mash up the potatoes. Now that we've got this mashed, we are going to add our meat mixture to it. Mix it all together, got our potatoes, got our meat, like I said, reminding me so much of Shepherd's Pie right now. 
It smells so good. So specifically, this recipe, there's some foods in um, your name. There's some different foods that we see. But this one is really cute because Taki, the main character, or one of the main characters, I should say, um, he is hanging out with his friends at lunchtime. He forgets his lunch, and one of them has Japanese croquettes. The other has an egg sandwich. And so they combine the two together and give it to Taki as a lunch. So that's, I mean, it looks interesting. It looks good. So what can go wrong, right? All right, so now that we've got it all mixed together, looking good. Next, what we're going to want to do, I'm going to try to find some gloves. But what we're going to do is we're going to take them and form them into little croquette balls. All right, so fun time. Could not find any gloves. So I washed my hands, cleaning it with my hands, and I've got a, uh, a baking sheet right here with uh, lined with wax paper. Um, I'm just going to make these balls, put them on there, and then what we're going to do is we are going to um, put them in the fridge for about 15 minutes because you want them to get a little firm. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hot. Maybe I should wait. Uh, it's not that. Okay, I'm just, go ahead. Oh God, oh God. Oh, this was a bad decision. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, all right. Not too bad once you get in there. Not, not, not that bad, okay, all right. <laughs> y'all are watching this you're like what the heck is she doing okay so probably about that big around um you're just going to try to form them into like little oval shapes so to speak like nice little oval ball shapes kind of like that one down a few more to go Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that made about nine of them. So I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes, let them get firm, and then we'll be back. Alright, so sorry for the inconvenience. Our mic went out, so I'm just gonna narrate the rest of this. So we've got some all purpose flour, our panko breadcrumbs, and some eggs that we've beaten up. And this is what we're going to use to batter up our croquettes. So they've been sitting for about 15 minutes in the fridge to firm up, and then you're just gonna batter them all up. And I've got them placed right over here on a tray. And this is what they look like when they're ready. So we have some vegetable oil in a pan that is ready to fry these bad boys up. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Now you want to cook them until they're about golden brown. Uh, you don't need to cook them more than maybe about two minutes on each side because the filling is already cooked. And look at that. They are amazing. They smell good and they're all fried. So what we're going to do next is we are going to get some uh, just plain white bread, plate it up, and put our egg salad on there. So now that we've got our egg salad, we are going to place a nice croquette on there and give it a little smush down. And you know what this needs? We need to have like a cross cut. So we're going to cut this in half and boom. So you know I had to give this a try. It is Y'all, when I tell you this was amazing, the crunchiness of the croquette mixed with the creaminess of the egg salad was chef's kiss, honestly. Like, it was really good. Uh, you can find the full recipe on our website. Um, a link will be in the description box below. And y'all, just go make this for yourselves because it is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this off screen. And keep crashing those gates, gate crashers, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.